The idea of life on other planets has long fascinated humans, and when the search for exoplanets began its prime, interest in Earth 2 increased. Searches have turned up nothing, even though the probability of our planet's twin circling within the star's habitable zone grew to zero. That question can now be answered, forcing researchers to use their imagination to find other potential home for life in the universe. Join us as we examine James Webb Telescope terrifying city lights discovery on Proxima b. The fact that there is now only life on Earth affects everything. Since the beginning of civilization, people have questioned whether there is life elsewhere in the cosmos. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI project, was launched in 1984 by American astronomers Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson. Since radio waves are less scattered or absorbed than other types of radiation, the non-profit organization's objective is to gather radio signals from space to undertake such interstellar searches. There are more likely to be detected by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the distinctive Allen Telescope Array in the California Cascade Mountains because they can travel further. But in the past 30 years, no verifiable alien signal has been discovered. Following that, the deployment's success aided the search. The James Webb Space Telescope, the biggest telescope in the world, will study a variety of distant uncovered planets orbiting far-off stars in addition to the planets in our solar system. The telescope is floating about a million miles from Earth and is outfitted with incredibly sensitive detectors. 20 years ago, there were no other planets identified, but since then, more than 4,000 more planets, also referred to as exoplanets, have been discovered orbiting other stars. They may be trillions of exoplanets in the cosmos, according to NASA. The first signs of extraterrestrial plant life may be detected by Galileo, a spacecraft that turned its instruments back towards Earth while traveling through the solar system. The red vegetation edge or pathogen's biosignature was detected by the device. If there is an Earth-like planet covered in jungle, for example, it should have a strong pathogen signal that screams out to the observer. The James Webb Space Telescope will calculate the pathogens of far-off planets like Earth that are in the habitable zones of stars. There could be important signs of life in the exoplanet atmosphere. When sunlight crosses the face of a star, the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to detect it as it passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere. The atmosphere's atoms and molecules absorb particular wavelengths, leaving a characteristic fingerprint that the James Webb Space Telescope can detect in this method. The missing wavelengths in the light would then be discovered via spectroscopy. If Earth-sized planets with atmospheres similar to our own with a majority of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide were discovered, the composition of the atmosphere might be discovered and the possibility of life could be inferred. The likelihood of life existing on those planets is high and it may be feasible to detect technological life by looking for the existence of elements that don't naturally exist. Chlorofluorocarbons, which were created for use in cleaning goods and refrigeration, are typically visible to aliens studying the Earth's atmosphere from a distance. If the James Webb Space Telescope identified CFCs in planetary atmospheres, they would be a clear indication of civilization. Exoplanet life may not slightly resemble life on Earth. Even life on Earth, like species of extremophiles, can occasionally seem foreign. This is a category of organisms, usually bacteria, that can endure environments where other living things would not be able to. It would be wise to start looking at Earth-like planets first, as they are more likely to host life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic environments. Some of them can withstand temperatures as high as 250 degrees Fahrenheit, while others can withstand temperatures as low as negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, it would be wise to start looking at Earth-like planets first, as they are more likely to host life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic environments. Prime candidates could have temperatures that allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces and circle a stable star. Although our Sun is classified as a yellow G-type star, 
these stars are less common and often have a shorter lifespan in our universe. Because of the significantly longer lifespans of these stars, planets rotating around red dwarf stars, which are more common and have lower luminosities and temperatures than the Sun, might be a more plausible subject of study. The emergence of life and the evolution of complicated life forms have more time. Are approximately 40 light years away from Earth, the Trappist-1 planetary system will be the subject of the James Webb Space Telescope's first mission. It revolves around a calm red dwarf star in the so-called habitable zone with seven Earth-sized rocky planets. Despite possessing solar that is far smaller and cooler than our Sun, three of the rocky planets are capable of supporting liquid water on their surfaces. Due to its planet's close orbit around the star, the trap is one star emits light that is similar to that of Earth. Proxima Centauri is a four-star red dwarf. Our closest star, which is 25 light years from the Sun, gives us the highest chance of seeing city lights outside the solar system. Because Proxima is about 600 times fainter than the Sun, the planet must be 20 times closer to it than the Earth is to the Sun for it to host life based on liquid water. Astronomers discovered a planet with a mass of one in this habitable zone, three Earth masses. Proxima b's close orbit of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is only four light years away, six million miles suggests that it might be an airless, lifeless planet. The distance between the Sun and the Earth is 93 million kilometers. The planet Proxima b is in a close orbit that exposes it to intense solar winds that have the potential to destroy its atmosphere, but also offer enough light for temperatures and liquid water that are similar to those on Earth. Because of its proximity to the star, Proxima b is thought to be tidally locked, also showing the same side to the star as the Moon does about the Earth. This means that Proxima b has a permanent day side and permanent night side. Sadly, models suggest that the atmospheres of tidally locked planets may be prone to a quick collapse. However, volcanic activity can also replenish atmospheres as volatile gases freeze off on the night side. And on planets with strong magnetic fields, these atmospheres are less likely to escape. Because we don't know the planet's volcanic activity or magnetic field strength, we can't even guess whether Proxima b has an atmosphere or not. But if a sophisticated technology already exists on Proxima b, its day side may be coated in solar cells to supply electricity because an atmosphere implies the existence of seas and the two taken together imply the existence of life. That would illuminate and warm the night side, which is currently too dark and chilly for human settlement there. Here, the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. The secret to discovering the planet's atmosphere lies in the infrared heat signature on Proxima b. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to observe city lights on Proxima b's night side permanently because Hubble's successor has a high love for the infrared area of the spectrum. As long as artificial lighting has contained inside a specific frequency bend, Webb could detect it. Based on its distinctive spectral edge in reflecting starlight, Proxima b's day side is heavily covered in solar panels. Even if it were 1,000 times weaker than that what our civilization currently uses on the night side of the planet, it would still be 1,000 times narrower than the starlight. As Proxima b revolves around its star, day and night are identical. It is warm throughout the day and cools off at night. The temperature difference between day and night depends on whether or not the planet is solely composed of bare rock because an atmosphere and ocean both conduct heat. In other words, the temperature difference between Proxima b's day side and its night side will be higher if there is no atmosphere. In reality, since the day side will re-emit all the energy, we can calculate the exact amount of black body radiation that should exist. It arrives as a black body from Proxima Centauri. The night side, on the other hand, will look like a frozen form of hell. If the temperature difference between day and night is not as extreme, we can infer that there is an atmosphere. The James Webb Space Telescope 
will conveniently finish its orbit of Proxima b swiftly. To measure the infrared radiation from both of its faces, it took two Earth days. Assuming that Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next step will be to identify its content. We'll be looking for elements like oxygen, water vapour and methane because these could indicate the presence of habitable conditions if not actual living organisms. To achieve this, however, we must successfully collect starlight as it bounces off or travels through the planet's atmosphere, which is an extremely difficult process. Webb, however, can only closely examine a few of these closest potentially livable worlds because it was not built to look for extraterrestrial life. Additionally, it is limited to tracking changes in atmospheric quantities of water, vaporized methane and carbon dioxide. Webb is unable to detect the presence of unbonded oxygen, which is the strongest sign of life, even though some mixtures of these gases may be suggestive of life. One of the planned ground-based observatories that will be able to conduct a thorough atmospheric investigation is the Extremely Large Telescope, which is predicted to begin operations in the middle of the 2020s. A few substances, including ozone, a cutting-edge idea for the future, might be detectable by the James Webb Space Telescope. Even more powerful space telescopes incorporate technologies that reduce the binding brightness of a planet's host star so that the starlight reflected from the planet may be seen improving distant objects. Future space telescopes might utilize small inner masks or large outer umbrella-shaped ships, similar to how you might cover the sun with your hand. This can be done much more easily after humans have blocked out the starlight to analyze light reflecting off a planet.